Welcome to Milking Maples 2022. With permission from my neighbors, I've tapped 14 trees this season. The majority of them are silver maples planted between 1980 and 1990, making some of these trees well over 30 years old. It's neat to consider that I am more than likely the first person to tap many of these trees. Evaporating hundreds of gallons of sap from 14 trees requires quite a bit of fuel. Maple season is weather dependent and may only last a few weeks, but you can guarantee that when the sap is running, you will be too. Between splitting wood, collecting and evaporating sap, and finishing small batches along the way, there's never a shortage of work to be done, especially when conditions are right and a single good producing tree can overflow a bucket in less than 24 hours. Very fortunate. 
fortunate that my father is willing to work alongside me to keep our backyard operation running smoothly. Because we are a small operation with limited resources and time, I remove the ice that forms in our buckets to reduce boil times. The ice is largely water with very little sugar content anyways. I like to finish my batches on the stove top as it's easier to monitor and control the temperature. If you'd like a detailed explanation of how to produce syrup, follow the card in the corner of the screen to a series that I created the previous season. I started using a refractometer to dial in the precise sugar content of my syrup. Between the range of 66 and 68 bricks is ideal. favorite aspects of maple season is that it breaks you from the winter confines of your home. Over the course of three weeks, we went from jackets and snow to t-shirts and sunshine. I welcomed the return of our state bird and gazed skyward at the thousands of sandhill cranes and Canada geese making their migratory flights back north. act of sugaring requires a lot, from chopping wood to hauling heavy buckets of sap and evaporating well past midnight most of the season. Though this is only my third year sugaring, it's become a tradition and I hope my children fall in love with it and one day continue it themselves. When the sap has been collected and the evaporator has been tended to, you find yourself with breaks of time to enjoy the little things in life. The things that matter most. Oh yeah, I 
recently became an affiliate of Grubterra. If you haven't already seen the video that made it to the front page of their website, check out the card in the corner of the screen. Thank you for supporting the Green Acre and Grubterra. Just as soon as the season arrived, the buds start breaking and the temps stop dropping below freezing at night. I'm not going to lie, after the amount of effort we put into sugaring this season, it comes as a relief. My father and I hand collected roughly 223 gallons or 1,862 pounds of sap this season, which resulted in a whopping 7 gallons or 57 pints of pure maple syrup. I gave away a portion of that to the neighbors as a thank you for allowing me to tap their trees. Community is truly important. I turned 5 gallons of finished syrup into 23 pounds of sifted maple sugar. I collected an additional 4 pounds of sugar pebbles that were too large to fit through the sifter. My family will use this sugar in our homemade salsas, jams, and sauces, to baked goods and beverages, and much, much more throughout the year. I just wanted to again thank my neighbors for allowing me to tap their trees and teach my children about sustainable practices. In today's day and age, the answers to everything are just a click away, but many of us don't get the hands-on learning experience that generations before us did. In many regards, we've allowed ourselves to be stripped of the basic knowledge of how to live off the land. We sacrificed that understanding when we handed over the responsibility to care for ourselves to large corporations. My goal is to raise my children with an understanding of not only where their food comes from, but how to provide for themselves and others with their own two hands. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you'd like to continue to follow our family's journey and see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free and means the world to my family. We also have merchandise available. Please check the links in the description below. I've also included links to all the products that I use in this video both from a production standpoint and actually making maple syrup. God bless you all, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.